If you are looking for a fun activity here in Denton, the best place to go is Quandary Escape Adventures, Denton's only escape room experience. I manage staff, uh, hire and fire. I game master whenever we don't have staff. Um, I build the rooms, I design the rooms, I put the rooms together, I paint, I make resin figurines if it needs to be built. I either have to build it or find somebody who will. Um, I source basically everything that's in any of the rooms. I spend a lot of my time Googling. Um, finding, you know, a ball that's just this size and is exactly this weight and, um, you know, finding a poster from World War II and just looking for stuff. I do a lot of looking for stuff. Um, I build furniture, I repair for furniture. Um, I build some of our electronics. I don't do much, much of the programming. My husband is our programming guru, but basically everything else I've had a hand in. I am one of the owners here, uh, and uh, mostly I help with electronics and computer programming, um, and uh, some of the prop building, uh, a little bit of the carpentry, some of the painting. Uh, it just kind of depends on what we need done. Uh, Viva La Resistance is our World War II themed game. Uh, you're breaking into a Nazi office in order to steal a file for the French Resistance that they have left behind when they had to flee. Uh, you're trying to get it out of the office and help the Allies. Then we have Unwrapped, which is uh, our mummy themed game. It's 1865. You've been doing an unwrapping party and unwrapped a mummy. She's not very happy about that. And she's coming to get you, unless you can make her happy with you again. And then the last one we have is our art heist game. It is a story about you were trying to break into an art heist ring called the Crimson Frame. They're elite art heist thieves. And uh, you want to be part of their gang, but you have to prove themselves yourself to them by stealing a painting from them. Uh, so you get to break into an, a private art gallery and play with all their toys. Usually it starts in the shower. Um, I will have an idea about a story. It always starts with a story. Um, and then from there, I will plot out sort of the major narration points in the game that will happen, and then I start building puzzles around those narration points. Um, I make some diagrams, I draw some things out, I confuse the heck out of my husband, and then we start to build. The programming is, is often where it gets more uh, time consuming. Running the wires is not really that difficult, uh, but uh, making sure that everything functions the way it is intended to and it's reliable, uh, getting the code all correct and, and, and the timing just so is the challenging bit that takes a lot of time and effort. Uh, the game we're sitting in, it took months, but uh, honestly that was one of our first games. I think we could do it a little faster today. So I run the games also. I'm a game master as well. And so when people come in and play, and, and I'll meet them at the door and, and introduce them to the concept in some cases, because maybe they've never played an escape game before. And so we uh, we go over locks. We take, told them, you know, there, there's several different kinds of locks that we use in the games. I show them how all the locks work. And then we uh, go over some, some ground rules, you know, just to keep things safe, uh, such as no climbing, uh, you know. But uh, then, uh, then we uh, get them into the game, and, and then we go monitor on the. Uh, we have video and audio. We can we can hear and see the people in the game while they're playing, and uh, we can we can listen to questions that uh, that they may have and answer those questions. So, uh, but yeah. Now you know where to go when looking for a fun group activity close by. And if you're a college student, they offer discounts on Mondays and Thursdays. Take a look at their website for bookings and more information.